Hello and welcome to another Raggy's video. So today I'm going to be chatting about the places to drink cask and craft beer in Beeston. Um, Beeston is a fantastic area to the south of the city, uh, supplied by trams and lots of buses. It really is good. Two pound bus rides now. Uh, there is there is a lot of car park in there. Should you be that wanting to do that? So there's quite a few pubs in Beeston. So I'm going to run through them. A, a, a good pace. First off, I'm going to talk about the Commercial Inn. Uh, apparently, as I can understand, it's a Green King pub. So there's there's there's, there's cheap eating in there. Brand beer brands such as Beer Mats, um, Little Critters, Oakham Citra, um, Milestone Brewery uh, are in there. Osset also in there. A regular so. Yeah, it's got some nice cask in there, you know, in the centre of Beeston. Uh, I've only actually been in twice myself, but I do know of its existence. Um, don't think it's dog friendly. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's worth a punt if you're in Beeston. Um, next up, we're going to talk about the last post, Weatherspoons. I know a lot of people do or don't like Weatherspoons. Obviously, not dog friendly. Um... Obviously, they have cheap beer, cheap food. You know, it's worth a mention because they do have a varied range of beers in there. Whether you like or dislike uh, Weber Spoons, um, I think they're doing a beer festival. Uh, and a couple of quid a pint. Obviously, that, that does not support low, most breweries and not making little to no profit on that sort of price. But, you know, um, it is what it is. Um, so yeah, I haven't been in Last Post for a long while either. I, I know it's there. It is a pub to go to. However, pubs with bouncers don't in interest me. So the first two pubs I'll get out of the way because they're what they're ones that uh, I'm sure Commercial Inns had bouncers on uh, when I've walked past before. So they're they're the two pubs that we'll talk about first. Get out of the way. So now we're moving on to the more real ale fan pub so you've got the malt shovel um which has been took over by shipstons so it's now like a shipstons brewery tap bar um with i think it's four or five lines of their own cask and and i think there's one one of their craft beers on um that was when i last went in i've not been in for wow good six or seven months um you know, there's only so much drinking you can do at any one time. But, uh, yeah, the beer was decent there. Good to see them have their beers on. Be interesting to see if they bring back more of the back catalogue of what the old Shipstons Brewery had. And, uh, yeah, collaborations as well would be interesting. But it's definitely worth a try, going in there and having, having a drink. Um, so then after that... We're going to talk about the the big ones now, you know, the the, the main draw to Beeston and Attenborough. So, Star in Beeston um, was literally my top pub in, in Beeston and probably the city. It's fell down a bit recently, um, got to be honest. Um, they have some beers that are tied to them, Marston's Pedigree. Uh, I'm not sure if Oakham Citrus tied or it's just there a hell of a lot. Uh, I assume that's somebody's preference for that one. Um, and like I said, the range of beers was excellent at one stage. It has fell down uh, recently. Um, they do have Starlight on as a cheap beer uh, from Lenton Lane Brewery. Uh, formerly, it was formerly Stargazer was the you know like the pub beer. Um, same hops, but very much different tasting. Um, uh, good, they do have quite a bit of Bang the Elephant on in there, which is good to see. Bang the Elephant, good craft beer brewery. Uh, all two egos are on in the pub, and uh, a lot of Lantern Lane. And uh, yeah, if I was looking at the cask range, I would say. It needs a bit of refreshing. Looking a bit further afield at breweries you don't normally see. But I'd say that to every pub as well. You know, don't be reliant 
on um, just a few breweries. But nonetheless, it's still a good place to go and get nice food as well. There, a uh, big garden at the back, plenty of seating inside, lots of couple of quirky little rooms inside. And uh, yeah, it's a nice pub to go to. Um, next up, the Pottle Micro Pub. Now here's a place. Oof. You walk in, one one seating area, uh, lots of tables and chairs around, uh, many craft beer fridges, uh, two downstairs, and I think two or three upstairs as well. Lots and lots of different beers. If you can't yourself find yourself a craft beer, um, yeah, the the ranging beast and for craft beer uh, by some distance as well. Um, Five or six lines of cask, as far as I remember. Uh, two lines of keg, ever-changing setup in there, you know. Um, on keg, you can order thirds, halves, and pints. Although you wouldn't want a pint to bloody impy stout. Um, but hey, uh, up, up to each other's, yeah. Uh, and then on, on the cask side of things, you can order halves and pints. Uh, bloke who runs it, top bloke. Um, it's a lovely place. It's a must, must visit location. Yeah, uh, in the Beeston area of Nottingham. Um, next up, I'm going to talk about uh, the totally tapped micro pub. So they moved literally a year or so ago um, over the road to slightly bigger premises. Not massively bigger, but slightly bigger. Um, and again many lines of cask cask you don't see in the pottle and you don't see in the star so and this is the thing if, if you're running a pub or micro pub you don't want the same beer as everybody else has got or what, what's the point you know um yeah like i say so about four or five cask lines about 10 or 12 keg lines Two craft beer fridges. Uh, the people in there are fantastic anyway. Um, a little outdoor seating area for the spring and summer months when it's a bit warmer. Not well, this time of the year, it's pointless. I'm freezing. Uh, but again, a must visit location when you come to Beeston. Must visit. Next, I'm going to talk about the White Lion and Black Shale Bar and Kitchen. Um, the white, it's it's basically one pub that they've split into two. Um, one for cask on one side, and one a bit more crafty on the other side. Uh, the cask side has predominantly the four core beers from Lincoln Green. Uh, I've been in before, they've had Titanic Plum Porter on, they've had Landlord on, Proper Job from St. Austell. Um, and obviously their own seasonal stuff. And that's on the cask side. Keg side? Yeah. Um, not as not as crafty as, as, as I probably would have liked it to be. There is one or two um, you know, Lincoln Green craft beers on in there. Whether they're going to... I know they're doing some small batch stuff now. So whether some of that will get into keg will be interesting. I personally think that it needs to happen, but... Uh, Obviously, I don't own the companies or breweries and pubs, and uh, it's only my point of view. But yeah, I, I'd love to see some guest keg in there, and maybe from further afield that nobody else is stocking. Uh, I could I could chuck some brands at them, and uh, you know, much further afield than than, than what anybody else is doing. Uh, nonetheless, yeah, the cast side of things and the keg. So it's a good pub to and visit. Some nice food in there as well. Um, you know, it's probably the most upmarket of the the pubs in Beeston for food. Yeah, decent food. Um, and it's got a lovely big seating area outside. The, the, the White Lion side of things, the pub, is probably a little bit small, to be fair. But, uh, you know, you can't win them all, can you? You're back trying to balance things and all that. Uh, but you can still fit a good amount of people in there, so it is what it is. And, uh, I mean, we did get our beers in the cask side, 
and go into the craft beer side and sit down because it was a lot quiet. It was a bit quieter in there. Uh, but obviously, if there's lots of people eating, you might struggle, especially on a day like today when it's Mother's Day. So then we're going to talk about, um, and I nearly forgot again, the Victoria Hotel Beeston. So next to the tram, the train line, I forgot about it. You can get trains to Beeston as well from all over. This is next to the train line. Went in yesterday, uh, massive food offering in there, good quality food as well. Banging food. Uh, you know, a good price as well. Uh, on cask, they've got, I think it's about 10 or 11 lines of cask. Couple of keg, keg don't. Yeah, I look at the keg and think, but the cast lines yesterday, yeah, Black Sheep, Castle Rock, Charmwood, Salopian, Heritage Brewing Company. And what I like about the uh, Vicar Hotel now, which is now going to be coming one of my more regular pubs, um, is the fact that it is changing, is the fact that you can get thirds on cask. That to me is brilliant because... As somebody who likes to try different beers, and you know, sometimes do that, these random bloody reviews that I do, it's nice that you know, it tells people what it's tasting like on the day. It's good for the breweries as well because they can look at the beer and think, yeah, yeah, that's, that's looking on, on, on form, on you know. Um, and you know, to get furs, brilliant. And what they do, they've got their paddles and they have marker pens, not permanent ones, and they write the name of the beer on the paddle. That is brilliant because sometimes, especially if the beer looks the same, um, it's a struggle. You know, pricing's great. Yeah, it's a lovely pub. It's it's got a character to it. You know, uh, the red room, the red bar, brilliant. My favourite place in the pub there. Um, dog friendly as well on that side. Anyway, not when not on that side where they're eating. Got to say also. Bottles, dog friendly, totally taps, dog friendly. Um, and I think the White Lion's dog friendly. I'm sure we've been in, been in there with um, Cali before, happy drinkers. So we're coming to the, the last two pubs now. So Attenborough, so it's a, it's a bit out of Beeston, but it's in the middle of nowhere, so you need, need, it needs to be brought into the beast and set of things is the bird eyed micro pub uh out, big outdoor seating area when it's weather uh, but a good long pub inside and a, a very much bird themed yeah when you go to the toilet you'll laugh when you see boobies and cocks on the wall uh pictures of you yeah. <laughs> but not the uh, not the that sort of boobies and cocks but anyway um plenty of cast lines in there Six or seven cast lines. Um, I assume more when it's on a busy time. Uh, they do bag in box as well, which is interesting because it adds to your cast lines. They do uh, ciders, bag in box ciders. They do two keg, and again, I suppose that could be added more to uh, when when the need arises. Um, supporting all local breweries, and yesterday I actually tagged them into a load of more local breweries. That would be great to go in there, especially if I'm around as well um, at that moment. Um, I mean, yesterday there was Bang the Elephant, Lenten Lane, Alter Ego, Warbeck Abbey, Black Old Brewery, uh, um, and that's something as I can remember. But a great place, great hosts. Uh, card only though. Hard only in there, dog friendly again, and a very much a place worth visiting. If you're after a bit of local beer, that is a good place to visit. So we come to the the final um, pub that I want you to check out in Beeston, and that is the Crown in Beeston. And it used to be my number two pub in Beeston, but it, it has easily transformed into the top pub in Beeston. Uh, food offering, you, you can get your uh, like cheese platters and things, pork pies and that. Don't do meals like that. They do have, in the summer months, outdoor caterers 
and they have tap takeovers on the outdoor bar. So they are, they are the kings of beast of the tap takeovers, which is brilliant. For a beer fan like myself and Vince, who's Nottingham Cameras king, um, yeah, it's great. Um, many, many lines of cask. I can't tell you how many lines of cask they've got. They must have about 10 lines of cask. They must have about 10 lines of keg, if not more. Don't get me, but I might be wrong. And it's an ever-changing sweet shop of beers in there. Obviously, the ciders as well. I don't think they have bag-in-box ciders. That'd be something I'd like them to do. Um, Snenton Cider Company bag-in-box would fit beautifully in there. Uh, very much have a, quite a bit of form bridge going off in there. But yeah, it's a multitude of brands in there. Uh, I had three yesterday. A lovely pistachio porter from North Riding Brewery. <gasps> Hit the spot, um, but yeah, love the, the staff in there are amazing. It's, to be fair, the staff at all the pubs are amazing. But uh, for me, the crown in with its quirky seating areas, the confession booth, the random little areas where you can sit. You know, there's always somewhere new to sit, um, and obviously the big, big outdoor seating area for for when it's a bit warmer. It, it, it is the crown of beast and the king of beast and but um and then you know if i was ever going to say to anybody who wants to open up a, a tap tape tap room in beeston uh, you will be in an area where there's already a big pull of restaurants and pubs and that adding another one would bring more there are other pubs in beeston but they are not the ones that i frequent um cocktail bars and stuff like that so but I'm just giving you the real ale uh, ones, the ones that I'd go to as, as a beer reviewer and a beer fan. Um, so, yeah, Crown Inn, oh, absolute must visit. I mean, for me, the top five are Crown Inn, Pottle, Totally Tapped, Vic Hotel, Bird Eyed. Sadly, star in is number six um, maybe that'll change it, it's never changing that depends who buys the beers and who keeps the beers and uh, and how they get on with breweries and uh, yes yes there's if I owned a tap room in Beeston you wouldn't you'd see brands that you'd never see anywhere else um, well until they get on to the fact that, that I've got the good beers and uh, yeah and they start getting them but but I'd certainly have tap takeovers because I think tap takeovers once every week bring a lot of different punters to, to the pub. And somewhere like the Crown Inn with its outdoor bar that can have, I think it's four or five lines of cask, I think it's six lines of keg, is, you know, wow. Um, that can really bring the punters in. And, uh, and yeah. One a week tap takeover at the Crown Inn, oh, that, that'd be godsend, yes. And more nano stuff as well, yeah. But anyway, there's my bit guide to Beeston, uh, the best area of the city for, and, and, the, and the out, you know, the reaches of the city of Nottingham. Um, thank you for watching, see you soon.